The first thing you need to do is go to login.tmaxdialer.com on Google Chrome. To log into the dialer, you will log in with the email and password that you signed up with. Then you will need to click the I accept the end user license agreement and simply log in. This will take you to your dialer dashboard. Once logged in, the first thing you will want to configure is your web phone. Make sure your headset is plugged in. Now, to configure your web phone, you will need to go to your settings tab, little gear bottom left corner. Then you will want to scroll down to the bottom and click on test SIP phone slash web phone registration. If you are needing to configure the phone, you should have a little window pop up on your upper left corner. You will need to click allow for your web phone to configure. If you do not get the little pop-up window, you will need to click on the little padlock on the address bar and go to site settings to find the microphone, pop-ups, redirect, and sounds. Select allow for these three settings. This will only affect this web page. If your phone is already configured, you will hear a message in your ear. If you hear the message, follow the prompts. You will need to pop up your keyboard by clicking on it in the lower left corner. Once this is done and everything is working, you can move to the next step. Now that you have configured your web phone, you will want to configure your caller ID by going to your admin tab, little blue guy bottom left corner, to add a caller ID number. You will click the configure caller IDs button. Put your caller ID number in the caller ID field and click add. Now click the green phone icon under the call to verify header. The dialer will now call you. Enter the four digit PIN number. Once you verify the number, there should be a green check mark in the verified column replacing the four digit code. If the dialer does not call your number, please contact us at 620-607-0249 so that we may assist you in getting your number verified. You might also want to make sure to register your caller ID by clicking on the scam likely button to the left of your screen. This should help keep your number from getting marked as a scam. Once your number is verified, click on the Campaign tab to your left. Then click on the Create New Campaign tab in the upper right corner. Now we first want to make a master campaign to copy from. Name the campaign in the Name field. Master Template. Put a brief description in if you want, but it is not required. Put a valid name in the caller ID name field, like your company name or initials. Select your phone number in the caller ID number field. Next, click on the Limits tab. Make sure the Limit Calling Hours box is checked. If not, please check it. On your Never Call Before and Never Call After Hours, you will want to set the time you want to be calling people. This is based on the area code of the person being called. The most common is 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. If you want to limit the campaign to a certain user, you can check the Limit User box and select who you want to see the campaign. Then only the admin and the selected users will have access to the campaign. Next, click the Options tab. Dial Rate Override is the speed of the dialer and should generally be set to 2 or 3 but you may change the speed of the dial rate up to five or slow it down to one based upon your company needs. Wait for agent is how long the client will be put on hold if all your agents are busy. 60 seconds is maximum and seven is the least, but we recommend seven to 10 seconds instead of 60 because if people are on hold too long, they will hang up or tend to not be very nice after that point. Bypass answering machine. Please check this box if you would like to bypass answering machines, blocking 70 to 90% of the answering machines depending on their greeting. Record All will record all connected calls. They will be stored for up to two weeks or until you delete the campaign, whichever comes first. Now, save the campaign. Now that you have made a master campaign to copy from, we are ready to make a dialing campaign. So, click the Create New Campaign button on the upper right side of your screen. Again, from this box, you are going to load the master template. Do this by scrolling down in the Load Settings From campaign box at the top, and then simply click the Load button. This will load your master template settings to the new campaign. Now all you need to do is change the name of the campaign. We recommend that you put a name and today's date. 
and next to the date, put a brief description of what type of accounts are being imported. Example, 01-02-03, new accounts. If you would like to change any of the settings, you may do so now. These settings are not permanent. You can modify these at any time. Once you are done relabeling the campaign, click Save Campaign. Now let's load some information to the campaign. On the campaign you just built, click on the blue plus sign to load your contacts. Now click Load CSV File. Locate your CSV file and click to open. Next, click the Auto Assign button and it will match up your .csv file headers with your database fields if they are labeled the same. The ones that do not match, you will need to assign them yourself from the dropdown to the correct column header. Make sure to place the phone in the main phone column. If you have more than one column of phone numbers, assign phone 2, phone 3, and so on into each phone number column. Now click I am allowed to call these contacts and then click Upload. Now you are ready to start making calls. Now your agents or you will log in and start the dialer from their dashboard tab by clicking on the campaign you assign them to call. When they click on the campaign, they should hear, get ready to sale, finding prospects. You are now connected to the campaign and calling out. They will see the phone numbers that the dialer is calling on the top left corner. And when someone picks up the phone, the dialer instantly populates the information loaded for that person. Once the call is over, they will want to hang up and notate the account in your CRM then disposition the call on the dialer. Once the call is dispositioned, the dialer will start calling the next set of contacts. So please wait until you're done with the call and notated the account before you mark a disposition. If your agent is on a break, they need to click the agent disconnect button so the dialer knows that they are not still working on calls and the dialer can effectively distribute the calls. Be sure to check our knowledge base out for additional tips and tricks to get answers to some of your questions. You also might want to go to tmaxdialer.com to check out our other products like our voice broadcast dialer and our phone system.